We're here with Dennis Carley, Son of Fun 2019, here at the Aerolite booth. Dennis is the manufacturer of the Aerolite 103. He's brought a legal part 103 ultralight with him. Dennis, you want to tell us a little bit about the performance and uh, what we can expect with this ultralight? Sure. This is the Hearth uh, F33 engine, which is uh, rated at uh, 28 horsepower. <clears throat> with a 60 inch uh, culvert prop, we get about 230 pounds of thrust out of that uh, engine. So it's ample power for uh, for most uh, pilots. Uh, I'm uh, 220 pounds and uh, on an 80 degree day, we're about 80 feet above sea level at our airport. My climb rate's about 600 feet per minute with that uh, that engine prop combination. And cruise speed's about 55 miles with uh, 55 miles an hour with that uh, that motor. So performance is adequate with uh, with that that engine. What kind of performance does the uh, fairings add to the lift struts and gear legs? Uh, on this particular engine, on the F33, if we put the uh, um, lift strut fairings, gear leg fairings, and wheel pants on a set of five inch uh, wheels, uh, it's six miles an hour increase. And your rate of climb, what does that do for you? 100 feet per minute on the rate of climb. And this prop, Culver prop, is that the best prop for this engine? And without any doubt whatsoever, that's the best wood prop we've ever used. And this does meet 103 weight? Uh, yes, it's actually three quarters of a pound under the weight limit on this particular airplane as it sits here. With all these options on Yep, it. yep. So with this engine, we can add about any option we want? Yeah, with the F-33, you can pretty much put on whatever bells and whistles you want and still be below the, the weight limits. How about what's our other engine options for this plane? Uh, well, we use uh, the Hearth 2702, which is 40 horsepower, inline uh, two-cylinder fan-cooled, and the Hearth F-23, that's uh, 50 horsepower, horizontally opposed, two-cylinder. Uh, we also use Kawasaki 340 and 440 currently. Can you tell me a little bit what the performance difference is with those engines? Yeah, well, the, you know, I'll give you one end of the spectrum is the F-23, or I'm sorry, the F-33, it's on here, and the Kawasaki 340 those two engines the performance numbers are almost identical the other end of that spectrum with the f23 the 50 horsepower motor that uh, with me in the airplane the, it's 15 to 1600 feet per minute climb rate and the cruise speed 65 to 70 miles an hour and preferable engine for the Aerolite? Uh, they're all good, you know, they all have their uh, their benefits and uh, some are, are better at some things than others. Uh, the, the, probably the most popular engine we use is 40 horsepower 2702. Uh, that engine is a high output, low RPM motor, so instead of a cruising RPM in the 5000 to 5500 range with most of the two-stroke engines, that engine, uh, the last one we built with that um, 2702 on it. My cruising RPM was 3,800, and at 3,800 RPMs, it was 65 miles an hour cruise speed, burning a little over two gallons of gas an hour. Okay, and a few of my customers have ordered the 50 horse with the fuel injection. Is there any reason to do that? Um, higher altitudes, if you've got a, a you know, you're based at a 3,000, 4,000 feet above sea level and you're climbing up to higher altitudes from there, that fuel injection has its uh, its benefits in those applications. Most guys, you know, in the eastern part of the country, down at lower altitudes, uh, the carbureted versions are sufficient. Anything else you'd like to tell us about the Aerolite? Uh, gosh, I could go on forever, but you probably don't have all day. But no, no, nothing <laughs> I can think of. All right, thanks, Dennis. This is Rick Hayes, Hayes Aero. Air Sun and Fun 2019. Yep. And we'll see if we can get some interviews with some other people here. Thank you.